Welcome to Euro C Sucks, the weekly podcast where we review and critique the best and the worst fan-created original characters from the My Little Pony fandom. This show is unscripted and unfiltered, so moderate language will be used. As well, the show can be a little heavy on the critique at times. That being said, if you are easily offended, don't watch. If not, feel free to join us for this week's show. This is episode 30 for September 26th, 2014. This week, we're putting ponies in the ground! We're going to be burying these ponies, so grab some fertilizer for these OCs. My name is Mummified Thunderbirds. I'm the host and show manager. I am joined by... Commander Sparkle, assistant project manager. I'm Eddie Boba. I'm in charge of gathering questions and viewer interaction. And I'm Smooth Sailing, and I'm the editor. Fantastic. Welcome to this episode again. Uh, we're happy to be wrapping up the third of the kind of base set of all pony OCs, so to speak. Um, and we're going to be looking at Earth Ponies, but first, before we get into that, we're going to look at fan art this week, and what lovely fan art we have gotten. But I really love the continuation of the mummified pretending that he's not cute when he, all these pictures are really adorable. I'm not cute. I swear to God, I'm not. Uh, is, did you have a not-so-manly nap? Oh, I swear to f- I, f- nah. I, it's really I, I nap cute, manly. I always love it when uh, people do fan art of us talking about their OC. Like, there's the uh, one that Butterscotch made of us from... Uh, made of me? Well, made of... <sighs> Fine. <laughs> you can talk yeah. about it, considering it's your I, OC. I, 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 don't, I don't... I mean, I'm fine with you talking about it. I just don't want... I mean, it was just me in the picture. That's all I'm saying. It's like, uh... Made for us. Including. Made for us, yes. yes. But anyways, uh, since Mofi got all like squeamish, uh, um, pretty much, uh, Butterscotch had the good, Mofi's good OC last week, who I complained about how the, the tail didn't make sense because of the goggles. But they're like, hey, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, it says, look, I finally got the gum out, and I'm like, you had gum in your tail, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Implying that he fixed. The character design to match yeah. what we said, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Well, no, I, like it makes sense. I, I th- my character is just confused. Like you had gum in your tail, and I'm like, okay. But hey, I, good on you because it makes more sense. <laughs> uh, Satin Velvet did. I ship it, and it's quite lovely. I mean, it's a little old, but that's because weird things with things. Well, yeah, it's just yeah, it's cool. I like it. It's not too old. Like the fact that like. She's not to sound like full of myself, but I like the fact that she's wearing my tie. I should. Cute. It's really cute. It's really cute. I really like it. I got a piece from uh, Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> what? It's, it's like a. Oh my goodness! Famous here. Yeah, guys, I'm Hollywood famous. <laughs> no, but it's like a, a watercolor style thing of my OC for, that they did for an, an MLP anatomy study. And it's really fucking cute. Like, oh my god. When I saw it, I was just like, ah! The cute thing, that's right. Ah! Speaking of traditional art, we got two pieces from Turtle Wolf. I, I feel like me and, like, me specifically, like, I'm, like, so evil in that piece. I'm like, ha ha ha. Yeah. I'm I can like, see it. I can see it. <laughs> I'm not that bad, guys! Ah! I can see it. And we also got, we all got pictures from Sand Tomb. The set of ones. Yeah. And Medi got another one. Yeah, guys, look at this. I can't even see through these things. And there are flags that'll probably smash in my face. But it looks yeah. cool. Mine is kind of interesting because it actually looks like the glasses I wear. It's good. I like it. Moving on to the actual episode. Like I said at the beginning, uh, we're doing uh, uh, Earth Ponies. That means that's a four, so that means we get to go to Smooth. Smooth, tell us about your OC this week. Okay, um, this is Kinesis. Um, Kinesis is an Earth Pony who can actually do uh, psychokinesis. Um, so she has minor telekinetic powers. Like, just pretty much being able to move stuff with her mind. Uh, there's also a slight pink overlay on this one, but this was one of the um, most recent pictures of her, and therefore technically one of the most 
correct? Up to date? Yeah, up up to date, that's the thing that people say. Um, that's pretty much all there is to her character, besides the fact that her cutie mark is the um, Egyptian hieroglyph of the eye. Um, her eyes, I believe, glow a... Oh, crap, it was cyan, right? Yes. Yeah, cyan, when using telekinesis. Mm-hmm. Um, without the pink overlay, overlay, she is more of a regular white for her coat, and uh, her hair is more green than blue-looking. What do you guys have to say? Mainly aesthetics, but also, I guess, the um, prospect of the ability to use magic without being a unihorn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I like... Some people might be like, oh, well, then why bother being an er uh, earth pony then? Uh, blah, 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 why not just be an alicorn? Well, then that takes away be, some Why of the... not be an alicorn if you can use magic in your earth pony? Just be... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Why not be I... a unicorn? I was thinking I... about, like, the reason why people are so upset with, like, alicorns. It's like, well, then why not just be just regular unicorn then? Uh, but it's like... They're... <sighs> It makes it have an interesting story because obviously there are unicorns who can do uh, like levitation and whatnot, but and other telekinetic esque powers. But to have an actual Earth pony who has telekinetic powers, that's something kind of cool and out there. Without awesome. without being like weird and Mary Sue-y. she's not as powerful as a unicorn. A unicorn can cast spells. All she can do is move things with her mind, which is yeah. something I want. That's yeah, that'd be super awesome. By the way, I wish oh, it, I could do yes, it. it'd be super awesome. But I mean, that's e- that's chump change for a unicorn. Yeah, like, yeah. A, a Uni- unicorn. Unicorns. Unicorns get that basic. That's like friggin'. Like, that's idiot. Ugh, man, I learned telekinesis today. Tomorrow, I'll learn how to breathe fire through my face. So yeah, it's not like she has like the powers of a unicorn. That'd be a completely yeah. different story. It's not like she's casting magic. There's a difference. Yeah. Which I feel yeah. that if there's like this. Like, uh, I would like to know why, or if there's anything that about her like that made her this way, or she was born this way. A little bit of story, because I think it'd be cool. But I think pretty that, sure that's just how she was born. Well, yeah, I just think that having like a, having this story would just be a cool way to talk about a character like this because it's an interesting concept. Yeah, her character or the idea of her special talents or abilities seems out there, but yet the rest of the pony just seems so reserved and so like yeah chill it's just a pony yeah and it's i think it's i think it's cool i really really like how the the main like the coat and the uh main colors like the i love how they look together like i don't know because it's really simple like there's not too much color on this oc like what is the is there do they have like a gray eye color normally for, without their using their telekinesis? Yeah, in like every single picture. It's yeah. I, right, which, R, grayish. Yeah, which like, which means there's very little color because it's a pretty, it's a really toned down coat. The eyes are gray. And then you have this nice, what would you say, like sea foam kind of color? Mm, yeah. I, mean, I don't know. It's like a sea foam blue green shade of color. And it, like, I think it really works, and it's really cute. And I love how the main is just, like, it's just a little bit messy. I'm really kicking myself on not picking this pony earlier. I've been looking at it for a long time, but I just... I've seen yeah. it in our gallery, and it's like, oh, okay, that or not our gallery, but our favorites. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's cool and all. But then it's like, I don't know. But then now it's like, actually seeing it and taking a deeper look at it, you've kind of opened me up, and uh, it's just like... It's really good. She's she's incredibly cute. I like the I like the thought of being able to I I guess it bugs me of being able to use magic even though you're not a unicorn, but it's still a thing that could happen, I suppose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think and she's incredibly like. cute, so obvious bias is bias. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it, it is cute. And thank you for showing it to us today, Smooth. Cool. That looks like a 3, so we're going to be rolling <laughs> We're going to be rolling on into Betty's OC. Okay. I am bringing in a little pony called Autumn Rain. 
My s snow spell. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna let you keep going on in a second, but but that name that really bugs me. Autumn, snow. <laughs> How dare you not make a winter character? Winter is better. Um, winter is the best season. Go on. Yes, it is best. It's uh, it's it's true. Yeah. Winter is better. Yeah. She's a she's a young adult pony. So, don't fucking. I like that. That's nice. Doesn't give me a specific age, so I don't have to question what age is which age. Uh, she's a Native American Earth Pony. Her talents are potion making and spell writing. She lives in Mustang. Mustangia. Mustanga. Mustang. Mustangia. Is it Mustangia? Yeah, that's what uh that I would, I would what guess. what you call a chick said in the show. Is, wait, who said what in the show? The person they thought was Miss Harshwinny. She was from Wait. Mustangia. Is that actually a thing? That's a thing. Yep. That's a show town. Mustangia. So that's a... Oh, cool. Nice for the show reference. But next time, please come up with something more original. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Okay. Fuck off, Betty. Betty. I'm up. kidding. I'm kidding. Betty Jesus, stop. guys. Wow. Betty, <laughs> stop. stop you. Betty, stop. <laughs> Betty, stop. <laughs> it was funny, but <laughs> stop. <laughs> What's going on anymore, guys? Autumn is a friendly pony. She comes She comes off like she's kind of like blunt. Like she tells you as it is, and she seems rude. And she's also very sarcastic. She does it like so. She's sounds she like your sound, type of pony. I know, right? And she lacks empathy, but deep down, she's a real sweetheart. <laughs> she lacks empathy, but who needs that? <laughs> I know, right? Fuck empathy. She travels through Equestria writing spells and making potions. It's a, just a lovely time. She's really good at it. And she delivers these spells and potions to the ponies of Equestria. Is it weird that, like, everyone seems to be all like, oh, a potion making, and I've just never really cared for potion making. Yeah, no. Uh, I really like this pony's design. I love it. It's really fucking cute, and I'm it's I'm totally not biased. It's not like I like Native American looking characters or anything. If the raccoon wasn't here, I wouldn't have drawn the connection to it. But uh, Aww. but with the raccoon here, it just reminds me of Pocahontas. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Once like, you said that, I don't like Pocahontas. But besides that, I think she's really cute. And. Oddly, I don't normally like fetlocks, but I feel it fits here. <laughs> Even though she kind of just, she kind of just got fetlocks. I thought, do fetlocks just grow in? She, she, ha she okay. I she don't... has. In her filly form, she doesn't have them at all. Yeah. yeah. Does she just grow into them? That's interesting. I I normally don't like fetlocks on female characters. Like I feel that it's like depends for a male character. I just don't like them that much. But it's really hard to do for a female character and have it feel like it fits. I think they did it here. Fetlocks on everything. Also, I want to I wanna say I don't like your cutie mark. I really do, because it looks way too detailed. I don't understand it, And but I just look at it, and I go, I can't, I, just, I couldn't pick anything different. It really, it fits oddly. I don't understand why, but it does. Maybe it's because she herself, like, has a lot of, like, weird other details in it as well, like the blue feathers and the braid. And the hair tie in the back, on the tail, and the more blue feathers, and there's a lot of different things going on on this character instead of just your standard one color uh, coat, one or two colored mane, and then maybe yeah, an accessory. Wait, wait, wait. About those blue feathers, those are like prime winter right there. So? I can't think of anything besides winter with those. Why then? But her rain whole dance. coat. Autumn rain. Rain her whole dances. Coat, Anyways, I really like her little braids that are fucking mane and her tail. They're really cute, even though they don't they kind of confuse me. <laughs> braids are braids are weird. Like it's this like, is you, like a braidception. You have a braided braid Blah. of braids. I kind of want to know what she would look like with a wet mane. Uh, most of the braid would probably stay the same. Well, yeah, that weird high. Uh, high well, I guess that. Uh... Honestly, her mane it looks. Kind of like a wet mane, naturally. Like, sort of. I guess it just fall a lot. Also, I like faster. how the uh, the feathers get really jagged and crystally in her crystal pony version. Oh yeah, cool. I like the fact that in her filly version, she's only got the one feather. 
That's cute. It's like she earned more feathers. Doing That's cute as fuck. Whatever also, fighting the winters. Can I just say that, like, we, we kind of glossed over this because no one... I don't know if anyone complained glossed about it Glossed over like a sheet of ice. So, <sighs> the writing spells part. Normally I would complain, I'm like, oh, what does an Earth Bunny do writing spells? They don't know how to spell. But I'm like, oh, wait. Oh, wait, they write, They can, like, come up with ideas, write down, like, formulas for how a unicorn could do a spell. We don't understand how writing spells works. Oh, man, her saddle! I just noticed it in the fucking dress! That's fucking... Oh, my God! I just... I, like, can I just... I, can I just say how amazing that gown dress is? I really like it. It's really, really nice. Really like it. God damn it, so I just want to sn- make it a good referee. I fucking want to snuggle this pony. I think she's cute. I don't really like the raccoon. I think it's too much of a pull towards Pocahontas, honestly. Even though, like, some people who haven't seen it may just think, oh, it's a raccoon. Some people who have may get the Pocahontas reference. If this is a reference to Pocahontas, then I'm much more disappointed. And, uh, this is really fucking cute. Alright, well, moving on to the next one. Uh, there we go. Looks like I'm gonna be going next. So this is Cherry Bomb by Porcelain Parasite. And I hate myself for loving this OC so much. (laughs) Cherry! Exactly. But, anyway, uh, this one was heavily uh, influenced uh, to Porcelain Parasite by uh, Cherry Churi of The Runaways. And that was, you know, the band that was behind Joe Jet. Anyway, her name is Cherry Bomb. She changed it from Cherry Blossom to Cherry Bomb when she decided to form a band. But her friends still call her Cherry. Uh, and she's an earth pony who, t- who has a talent for singing. Her key mark is a cherry blossom petal with a stick and leaf branching off to form a music note. Which I think is pretty damn cool. She's a teenage pony who is very innocent and trying uh, and trusting yet thrill-seeking at the same time, which gets her into a whole heap of trouble. She is part of a musical duo with her best friend, Runaway, a much more level-headed pony who plays guitar. Cherry has a beautiful singing voice with a unique rough edge to it, as she loves rocking out. Uh, She can also play drums, but prefers just singing, as the devices that hold the drumsticks to her front hooves are inconvenient. Apart from the music... Uh, Cherry loves makeup, uh, cutting her mane, swimming, and running. Cherry is also a kleptomaniac due to an absolute thrill she gets from stealing things, which has earned her somewhat of a bad name in her hometown, Winnipeg. Winnipeg, which is awesome. She now lives in Manhattan, but travels around with Runaway for gigs. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. She's super cool. It's kind of a badass. I like the idea that it's so, sort of, like, based off of, uh, you know, the Runaways. And, like, that whole classic rock thing. I really like that. I, I seeing this character as sort of an, a, an adaptation of that character, I think is really cool. And I think does it justice. I mean, that seems like something that is really cool. Also, side note, Porcelain's art style. I, I know, I really, like, when I first saw this piece come out, I I was like, oh my god, I love it. Because, I, like, you really can see how Porcelain's grown as an artist, just since I feel like we, we have a little bit of right to talk about this, given that Porcelain is, like, one of the things that helped us be able to actually make one of our episodes. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of them. Yeah. Uh, you know saved our show from the depths of destruction. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. We love you, Porcelain. <laughs> we love you, Porcelain. We love you, Porcelain. I, I like the color uh, design on this one, especially just because of the fact that, though it is a kind of creamy, almost butterscotch yellow, I guess? Cream colored? Uh, butterscotch is orange. What, yeah. am, I, what am I thinking of? Tapioca? Yeah, what no. pudding is that? That's a pudding color. Vanilla? No, vanilla's more way. Anyway, but it's a very like pudding color, and banana? so banana. Yeah, that'd be it. Like a banana pudding colored mane with like a you know a kind of strawberry or you cherry mean the color of bananas. 
banana <laughs> pudding. No, because the actual color of bananas versus like the rind or the actual fruit are two completely different colors. But when it's like in an actual pudding, it kind of meets in the middle. I just thought that was funny. My point no. is that the colors <laughs> work very well together, despite them being red and yellow. They're not super saturated. They're not too bright. Well, they're not overly bright, I guess I should say. that Not that they're too bright, but they're not overly bright. I don't know. Whatever. It, the colors work very well together. And then also on top of that, the actual design of the outfit looks very cool. Oh, yeah. I like her mane. I think it looks really cute, especially for a rocker pony, I guess. Is she was she was a rock star, right? She yes. Doesn't... Yeah. Uh, but I think her tail is a little bit of a contrast to it. I um, think she... Thing out. Yeah, I think she should have uh, rocked up her tail a little bit. Uh, maybe uh, yeah. put a... I would put a... Like, if you really wanted to get into the rocker pony thing, I'd maybe put a highlight in the hair. Mm. No. Yeah. I, think I, that would I don't. Help. I don't think there's any colors that could play well with the red and the yellow. The red and the yellow here are. I think it works really well. Very difficult by themselves <laughs> to put together. Yeah. It, adding another thing is just way too dangerous. What what this character does is it's sort of like it has a bit of the things that would make it seem like an edgy character. Specifically, once you read the like whole kleptomaniac thing, but honestly. It, it, I didn't feel it didn't seem weird. It, like honestly, I felt like it fit. It just made me think of like, like an old like old school rocker that kind of culture. Like it's because of, it's because of the bright colors and the bright colored background. It gives a really warm and cool vibe to it without like, yeah. seeming edgy at all. It just seems like it's natural. It's just inviting. Yeah, psychology. Like, everything that is attached to this character seems to be doing everything right. I love the adaptation of the real-life uh, person in pony form. I like the actual execution of the pony. I like how uh, Porcelain's art style is developing. I like even the um, giant label that's on the piece itself, the cherry bomb uh, wording in the picture. It all looks very clean, very tight, very, like, nicely done. But it still has that, that like, kind of quote unquote edge to it that like porcelain has like has in her style but it's much more toned down and I feel more uh like inviting like you were saying smooth yeah yeah but anyway so moving on to the last OC or last person for this week we're gonna look at commander's good OC so this is Elderflower uh her nicknames are Ellie L and Flower and her talent is using elderflowers to make drinks, specifically stuff like uh, elderflower wine and champagne. So, so I guess she likes making some uh, little alcoholic drinks, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, she's uh, only 17. But she's only 17. <gasps> oh, the, my uh, goodness. So uh, officially confirmed legal drinking age 17. Um, at least or 17. Less or less. less. Because... Because that's her talent, and she's yeah. probably had it for a very long time. Ponies are drinking at the age of five. Well, they're mm. off no. no, but um, that does bring up the whole... It, they did include an age, which it's like... Eh, eh, I'd recommend putting a generality, but we touch up, we, we talk about this all the time, so I'm not going to really bother really going over that. Um, So... Elizabeth was a quiet mare who was sort of just like was sulking all the time and was like sort of just on the sidelines a lot. And she wondered why she like never really made any friends easily. And often she would walk in the woods and sit and watch the animals. Uh, then one day she found a tree with a bunch of bright white flowers that smelled really sweet. And she picked a bunch and then took them to her mom. She then explained, or I'm assuming it was her mom, then explained that they were, uh, elderflower is the same that she was named for and she told her that you can make a bunch of really cool drinks um out of them so l being intrigued began to learn how to make these drinks she discovered her mark after she made her first successful batch of elderflower wine um she then began to market her drinks on uh, the at the farmer's market and at fairs uh or and at fairs she began to open up to more she then also learned that there um if you were kind and polite to that many ponies would tend to be nicer to you. So 
Now, she's polite and kind towards many ponies now, but sometimes can still come off as cold and snarky if she feels like you're you're a bit of a, a meaner pony, a, a quote unquote like bully kind of character. She's also a, a bit naive. It's pretty much all for the like character. Um, can I just say that this pony's really cute? I really like her, and I, I love her colors and her mane. I really love the like the, how the mane and tail work together. I like it too. I like the color design in this character. Um, I really love the t- entire like peachy feel of it. I know that peachy isn't really a good word to describe the green, but the overall like light um, kind of desaturated color in the rest of the pony it looks really nice. I really like it. Though the character doesn't have that large of a, uh, that high of a value grading or like scale the it's overall peachiness is really nice uh, smooth what do you think the tail bugs me i thought because someone would say that it's shorter than the main yeah yeah i really liked the fact that they kept the style mm-hmm. but i would i would definitely i would agree that you should make it a bit a little bit longer but Keep what you're doing with it. Just extend it. Mm. So I think it's. Re- I want. I'm kind of intrigued as to why their main and tail behave like that at the ends. It's really interesting. What the little jagged? Yeah. I don't know. Like bolt feeling of it. It's really interesting. Mm, I don't know. It's cute. I like it. Medi, what do you think of this cutie mark? It's a little. Too detailed for my taste, but that's fine. Hmm. I agree. Because of the little tiny, like, pollen polyp things? That yeah, and maybe the shading. There. I think the shading well, is fine. Also, well. outlines for the flower. For this character, I feel like the outlines sort of work to accentuate it, just because, like, if you, I, I'm not sure how weird it actually would be, but I feel like if you didn't have those outlines it would just the way it would mesh with the coat would be a little bit weird and having the outlines makes it pop a bit more i like the way that it like affects that but i do agree about the like little pollen specks and the the center of it is a little bit too detailed well with the dark gray part flowers actually do that so no yeah like i know that they do i'm just saying the i'm just saying little pollen bits is too much Everything else besides the outline, in my opinion, even though it kind of has to be there because of colors. Yeah. Well, it might actually work because, well, you can see the difference between the coat and the eyes. That's true. That's I mean, like I, I'm not. I. That's just how I was feeling for that specifically. But it could work totally fine without that. I'm just though. If, I wonder if you took that out, like how would uh. Would would you still have the same kind of color for the center? Because it's just uh, yeah. act a little bit differently. I don't know, but I think it's it's, it's pretty good. I mean, also, like the use of the eye color for the accessories. Um, one uh, little tick though, a uh, little uh, critique, if you don't mind. Uh, the back legs or the ones furthest from the quote unquote camera. If it was being taken, if this was a picture being taken, should be a little bit darker than the rest of the body. That's just a little critique, just for this one. I mean, if you, if you feel like changing that in the next one, just you know, make sure you you, but you just put that little bit in. Oh, yeah. It'll be fine. Oh yeah, no, I totally, I totally get you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, 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 we're on the same page. Also, I, I really love the fuzzy bits of the pony, like the ear and the chest, just like a little tiny bit fuzzy. It's just really cute. Yeah, and I think that the. uh I think they did a good job also, like, with the backstory, because it was clear, concise, got it, like, across the cutie mark in a way that made sense, and I figured, like, I, that, that they could get a talent from that, and it gives, it gives a nice way to explain sort of why her key, or her, like, her cutie mark falls in line with her name. It's not just sort of this, like, deterministic fate that ponies, cutie marks, and names are related for her. It's sort of, it, well, it is, but... It's, it's explained a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I think she's really cute, and I also really like her eye color, which really bugs me that I 
want to take out the pollen bits for the cutie mark because it's exactly the same as the eye color. And I'm always the one talking about recycling colors, and it's a good thing. But it really pains me to say that you should remove the pollen bits because the eye color also. Also, orange eyes are incredibly cute. Thumbs yeah. Up. They're really cute, and I love the color they use for this. Or these ones, specifically. Good orange. They're pretty yeah. dope. Pony, like, I, I can, aside from, like, little nitpicks, like, the, like, pollen stuff and extending the tail, I mean, I can't really think of too much to really complain about this character, because it's just, it's cute, it has a really concise backstory, the personality seems reasonable, I, I really like this character.